Hello. Today I'm going to present the image of the father in the Playboy of the Western World, written by John Millington Singe. Well, before I start to present the image of the father, let me give you a brief description about father. The effect of fathers and children's relationship has a profound impact in our lives. John Millington Singes, the Playboy of the West, deals with the children's relationship with difficult, patriarchal, male authority figures. Their conflicts with their fathers are waged through violence in Christie's case, emotional in Piggins' case, and obedience in Sean Keogh's case. Uh, there are three child father relations when we talk about the image of the father. So the first child father relation is between Christy and Old Mahon, the second with Pig and Mike and Michael Flaherty, and the third is Sean Keogh and Father Willie. Well, uh, the first relation is between a Christy and Old Mahon. Not everyone celebrates their father. Fatherhood is not always about being a dad. The relationship between Christy Mahon and his father, Old Mahon, also reveals a type of authority based on family. Old Mahon's tyranny is Christie's initial description of himself as the son of a strong farmer, but Christie replaces that strong farmer with a dirty and crusty man he could not tolerate. Christie comes to distinguish himself as a revolutionary against his father's authority. He murders the man with a lawyer first, but his father survives, and secondly, on purpose, which is related to the crime of patricide. Here I would like to uh, give a short comment. Now, Christie's father, who is called Old Mahon, is a mean and drunk who uh, harassed Christie throughout his childhood. Now, uh, Christie fails to actually kill his father, but his supposed patricide takes him into a celebrity status in the town. However, Christie's father appears outside uh, the pub where Christie is working and the villagers condemn him. So he is forced to strike his father once again and then leave the village. Uh, also, when talking about the crime of patricide, Singe's play can be seen as a new Oedipus where we find the issue of sun slaying, but each of the play has a different significant details about using violence. Okay, now let's come back to the slide. Christie's motivation for doing so is to avoid an arranged marriage with the widow Casey, who is older and larger than him. The reason of this union is none other than his father's personal gain. By depicting old Mahon as domineering, selfish, and a less than ideal father, Singe allows the villagers to pity Christie and accept the killing of his father as justified, even honorable. The second child-father relationship is between Pig and Mike and Michael James. Michael James Flaherty is father to Pig and Mike and the jovial owner of the pub where the play is set. So he is almost absent from most of the play. He has authority over who Piggin may marry. He is initially in favor for her marrying her second cousin, Sean Keogh, but the appearance of Christy Mahon's heroic actions makes him change his mind. Piggin complains of Michael James's wishes, but also does not hesitate to voice 
her own inclinations when、uh, they differ from his. This aspect of her personality remains intact throughout the text.、Uh, there is an example in Act One. She reprimands her father for leaving her alone while he attends Kate Cassidy's wake. Pigan complains about being left by herself at night in the pub, which shows his liberal view to some extent. Another example in Act Three. She rejects、uh, Michael James's arrangement of a marriage to Sean and insists on marrying Christine instead. Later, he approves their engagement, which portrays his consideration of family legacy. So here, I would like to comment again.、Uh, when、uh, Michael James learns that Christie has not killed his father, Michael、uh, leads the villagers in an attempt. To either hang Christie or、uh, turn him to law,、uh, Michael thinks、uh, that he would rather have、uh, grandsons growing up like a gallant rather than puny weeds like Sean. This portrays his consideration of family legacy. Uh, the third. Relation is between Sean Kyog and Father Riley. Father Riley is a religious figure, a priest, from the first century A.D. through modern times. The Church has laid its authority to priests, who are mediators and bridge the distance between humans and the churches. Father Riley never appears in the play. But Sean refers to him incessantly. For example, the church authority is best exemplified by Sean Kyog, a God-fearing, and won't spend a night alone with his fiancée, Pig and Mike, because the local priest, Father Riley, might not approve. He says, "I would." But I am feared of Father Riley, and what at all would the Holy Father and the Cardinals of Rome be saying if they heard I did the like of that? In page nineteen, Sean's relationship with Father Riley is different than Christie's to his father and Pigeon's to hers, because Sean makes no effort to challenge Father Riley's religious power. Sean's disinclination to being associated with indecency, coupled with his refusal on the grounds of being afraid of Father Riley, is met with contempt as Michael James sarcastically reflects that he has found a decent man for Pigan. Despite being an Irish Catholic priest, Father Riley, like Sean, is too scared to inform the pillars. Uh, uh, these are the authorities about the murderer Christie. This shows Father Riley's fear outweighs not just his moralism but even his authoritarian sympathies. A father of the church who turns a blind eye to parasite. Oh, conclusion! In the small Mayo village, J. M. Singh. Portrays authority in many facets. Each relationship represents a different gradient of resistance to oppression. So children can either undergo pain or resist and stand up to overbearing fathers like Father Riley or Old Mahon. And thank you.